All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ty, this is Dad, and today we're going to be Hello. listening to Alphaville. Alphaville. We are getting into Alphaville. <clears throat> German synth pop legends. Still going today. I love uh, Marion Gold. He's their lead singer. Um, fabulous. Alphaville is an underrated band. They probably made a little bit of a ripple here in the United States. Most people might know Forever Young, which... I want to be forever Ever young. I want to be, yeah. Uh, kind of corn cheese. Uh, they're way more than forever young, and um, they've been doing albums forever, uh, and they're just fabulous. So we love UK bands on the show, but we really love also German synth, and this is a quintessential German synth band. First album, 1984. Still going strong. Even come to play in the U.S. every now and then. Mm -hmm. And this is big in Japan. Um, I don't know if this was first or second for them. Uh, if this was before or after Forever Young off of that great probably one of the greatest first albums in history was Alphaville's Forever Young with Sounds Like a Melody Jet Set Forever Young you know um, Germany with Love uh, every song is amazing every song is amazing So, but this is big in Japan so right. let's give it a go so good
bong hit at the end? Yes. <laughs> you know, uh. <clears throat> Okay, sir. Mr. Man. Alphaville. Mm, sounds like another 80s song. Dance. Well, yeah. Um, but it does sound like it'd be like in a movie. Oh. You know what I mean? Like a soundtrack to a movie or something. Oh, I don't know if it was in a movie. Even the lyrics, like Big in Japan. I could definitely see that. Like, I get you. What do you think about the voice? German synth. What do you think about the vibe? Is it good? Yeah. Uh, it's good. Nothing popping at me, though. Nothing, nothing, it's, nothing I mean, stood out? It's a great song. Okay, good. I love the lyrics. Good. Um, cool. But it's not like wowing me. Okay. Okay, I uh, will do more Alphaville. This I, was I was trying to start you out. I think maybe like different production, maybe. Okay, and remember, eighty stuff is still thirty years old. Mm-hmm. You know, so to find something that's going to match today is going to be almost impossible. So it's more about the inventive tune, the synth, and the voice. Well, me showing you structure. modern stuff that's going to match eighties is impossible too. Well, that's you know be- I mean? so. it's because the weekend is just better, just because the musicianship and the sense are better. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, stuff. I mean, you well, know, nineteen eighty four. No, but taking that out of context, <laughs> but like with all that considered, mm-hmm. I just think the production was just kind of eh. just hmm. like just basic. That's a tough question. Is since going because the production that we're not we're not on an equal playing field here. As far not, as production. Okay. Ignore all the modern music I've showed you. Okay. All the 80s music you showed me, this is the most bland. Okay. You know, out of AHA, Erasure, Depeche Mode. Okay. This is, this. Out, this song in particular is just like, it's okay. You know, there's nothing wowing me. Okay. All right. Well, the next Alphaville tune we do, I'm going to have to do better. Yeah. Or something that like shows their true colors. I don't know. Something that... What what if this is their true colors? <laughs> that, that can't be that can't be the best of Alphaville. No no no. Is that the best of Alphaville? No 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 no. They have there's two. Alphaville is too vast for this to be the best, but it's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good. I mean, it was off. No, their, it's, a, it's a great song. It was off their first album, you know. Mm-hmm. It might have been their first single before Forever Young. So. Fair enough. Fair but enough. even like in Forever Young. You get more vocal range. You get more exposed vocals to where you're like, yeah, you're really getting involved with the music. This is kind of like a surface level kind of a song. Okay, gotcha. Know what I mean? Gotcha. I'm still learning how to how to absorb that. Uh, I don't know. But some things are gonna be not as good as others. <clears throat> but Alphaville is a band are fantastic. Just uh, I hope you give them a chance when we uh, try some stuff later on. Yeah. But this was a good introduction to Alphaville. I think they're. I don't know for me. They're they're a band I always go back to. Um, So many good songs. So many great albums. Oh, there's a song of theirs called Fools that that I'll play for you. Not the 12-inch, but they have uh, a guitar rock version that I really like. So maybe I'll do that one next. Maybe you'll dig that one. All right. right, Today, Alphaville, success and not success. (laughs) Well, it's okay, you know. It's kind of average. There you go, Alphaville average. It, it blends in with every other '80s song I've heard. You know what I mean? Understood. All right, but uh, yeah, that's just kind of my take. Um, but what do you guys think? Am I, am I off? Am I on? Yo, am I right or is Ty right? It's that simple. I, I know it's a, it's a, it's probably a classic song that you all love, but taking that out of context, where does it really fall? Um, so we'll see. Who knows? Maybe people don't like it. Yeah, maybe they do. I don't know. We'll see. But it's, it's sometimes we're going to be on different sides. Yeah, and that's just the way it is. But um, that's part of the show. That's so how, thank you guys for tuning in. That's how we roll. Uh, hit subscribe. Hit the notification bell because we drop every single day. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye.